hindi kailanman papantay ang mga bato at abong na iwan sa lupain ng Marawi sa libo-libong buhay na sinalanta ng gerang inumpisahan ng mga terorista. Tinatayang tatlong daang libong residente ng Marawi City ang lumikas ng kasagsagan ng labanan sa lugar. Sa makatuwid, tatlong daang libong mamamayan ang nakaramdam ng takot, pangamba at agam-agam sa kanilang ninakaw na kinabukasan. Mag-aapat na taon na, simula na unang naganap ang paglusob ng mga teroristang mauti sa lungsod at bakas pa rin ang takot sa mga mata ng mga mamamayan ng Marawi City. Sa pagbuo ng Task Force Bangon Marawi na inatasang tumugon sa pangangailangan ng mga biktima sa labanan, nabigyan ng pag-asa ang madilim nilang kinahinat na. Sa kabila nito, para sa mga biktima, tila naging mabagal ang pagsasakatuparan ng mga proyekto at ginagawang rehabilitasyon sa lungsod. Nais mang bumalik ang mga maranaw sa dati nilang buhay, wala silang magagawa. Kung hindi ang maghintay, araw-araw, Nagtitiis, umaasa na darating ang inaasahan na kaginawaan. Sa kita nito, tiniyak naman ang pamahalaan na bago matapos ang taong 2021, matatapos na ang rehabilitasyon sa Marawi City. Bahagi ng nasabing rehabilitasyon ng pagtiyap na may maayos at ligtas ng matitirhan ang mga magsisibalikang residente ng syudad. Sa kabilang banda, hindi may tatangging hindi pa rin tuluyang nawawala ang banta ng terorismo. Di lamang sa Marawi, kundi sa buong Mindanao. At upang mapigilan ito, ayon sa militar, malaking papel ang nakaatang sa balikat ng bawat sibilyan at ng buong komunidad. Sir, masaya, nagpapasalamat yung mga nabigyan ng bahay. But there's one thing that uh, they are afraid, no? Nagpapasalamat sila may bahay na sila, pero marami sa kanila, sabi nila, ang walang trabaho at uh, marami ang nagugutom. And I fear na kapag nagugutom yung marami, baka daw, baka lang makaisip ng mag-join sa masama. What do you think is the best solution? Bakit nagpapatuloy itong mauti? At uh, posible ba na magkaroon pa ng another set of mauti because may mga sinasabing natatakot ang marami na baka mag-join yung ibang mga bata at uneducated? Uh, unfortunately, uh, after Marawi siege, sunod sumunod itong pandemic ano uh, uh, after Marawi siege a lot of uh, help was uh, uh, funneled no by agencies to the affected uh, families of the Marawi siege no unfortunately nung dumating yung pandemic it affected the activities of the different agencies to help them in fact we have projects for those surrenderers we have about 213 14 former members of multi groups who are supposed to have Uh, trainings uh, and other programs coming from the different agencies ng government but uh, medyo na delay ito nang na delay because of the pandemic so, you, you're saying sir na while you have this operation kailangan din yung i-continue yung mga programs para yes, dual approach oh, yes because uh, itong mga taong ito are vulnerable no na they can be used to it. either they can use an issue to incite them and go back uh, go back and join the group or probably uh, you know, become another group when push comes to show. And uh, ako, nakita ko naman yung ating provincial government is very, very uh, uh, receptive no, nito. Ang nakikita kong programa sa kanila na pagbibigay ng ayuda all over the province and including especially itong mga naapektuhan nung, nung Marawi siege. Tuloy-tuloy yung pagbibigay sa kanila ng uh, ayuda. We received reports, sir, that uh... There's some kind of shifting on the strategy of the Maute and other terrorists. Uh, of course, nabangit ko yung sa mountain, but they're sending like in the NPA sparrow units, uh, and there were verified reports that there were policemen uh, na pinatay here in uh, uh, Marawi or in Lanao Sur. Can you confirm that, sir? And what was the situation? That happened last year. Uh, meron silang, uh, meron silang uh, a few number of uh, members sila, about two or three sila, na pinababa. And we, 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 uh, that we, uh, we are able to identify them. Uh, sila pinababa dito ng Maute. Supposedly to look for uh, support. At nakakita sila ng chance targets, like yung mga policemen. Yun ang nabaril nila in Marantau. We were able to arrest it by deploying forces there and telling the provincial uh, police uh, office to you know, take care of the 
security of their personnel. So, yeah, naka so bakit police lang, sir? Ang pinapatay. They're, they're on their own. Wala silang kasama noon. Nakamotor lang. Very easy target. Actually, no? susundan so, lang. So, kayo, sir, wala kayong kumpiyansa? Ah, hindi. Kami, kayo? Kayo? Hindi talaga. Uh, and so, I, I, what's, I, what's your order on the troops, sir? No one should come out, go out of their camp alone. Uh, they should be in group. How do you feel, sir, when you hear people from Lano Sur and Marawi that noon, ayaw nilang magsalita, ayaw nilang magsumbong, Pero ngayon, gustong-gusto nila magsumbong sa Sundalo. Yes. How, how does it feel? Ako, tagalano ako eh. I, I grew up uh, in Lanao del Norte. I am from I am from here. I, I, I was born in uh, Iligan. I, I grew up in Iligan. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of Maranao friends. Uh, really, it struck me. No? Uh, noon, talagang ganun ang ano. No? Ayaw nila magsalita. Uh, when, kung may mangyari, especially pag Maranao ang involved, ayaw nila magsalita. No? They don't want to you know, bother themselves about these things. Marawi siege probably has positive uh, impact on, on security, especially. No? Yung mga Maranao ngayon, na-realize nila no? the importance of uh, a, a peaceful community. Dahil nung nakita nila yung Marawi siege, almost all uh, yung kanilang businesses, personal belongings, and whatever they had uh, at that time, naubos. Karamihan no, naubos o nasira. And I think, ayaw na nilang mangyari ulit sa kanila yun. And uh, I am really very happy that uh, the Maranaos are very receptive now sa army. In fact, even small, petty, personal problems nila, nilalapit na nila sa amin. Security analysts in Southeast Asia continue to uh, refer Philippines as one of the uh, havens of terrorists in Southeast Asia. Uh, with what you're doing now and uh, the leadership of the president, do you think that uh, this is not true anymore? Uh, this is a thing of the uh, past, and days are numbered. It looks like uh, it, yes, it looks like their days are numbered. Uh, yung kanila sinasabing uh, territory nila ito for terrorism is as big. You know, na na eh. It's melting and uh, it's not gaining ground actually. No, uh, and, and their support is dwindling. If they say that still the um, uh, Philippines is still a terrorist state, I don't, I don't think so. And how can we be assured that this could be sustained? You know, sustaining is not only a one-way ticket. Eh. It's, it's everybody's concern. The community is a critical uh, part of the equation. Pag hindi lang sumama ang community and they leave, just leave it to the security forces, it's not going to be sustainable. The community knows the people within the community. What can you say about the soldiers' capability to counter uh, these threats of terrorism? Sa mga nagdaang panahon, napakarami yun ang accomplishments at napakarami siguro yung nabuong strategies. No? Sa ngayon, uh, can we categorically say na matalino na ang mga soldiers natin, uh, yung skills nila when it comes to terrorism, na yung guerrilla uh, warfare and all, uh, saan level na tayo? One thing that I could, could, I could say probably is that uh, your armed forces has a lot of uh, enormous amount of bravery. Sa tagal na natin sa counterinsurgency, ang ating experience uh, level is very high. With the leadership of our uh, Commander-in-Chief also, na very strong, and our chief of staff and our uh, service commanders are also uh, very strong. Mas nakakapagaan pa sa aming mga trabaho because, uh, you know, soldiers, uh, they would always look up to uh, the leaders. If the leaders uh, would provide them a very clear uh, direction, everything is uh, done easily. Are we open to negotiation for Commander Zakaria? Yes, uh, in fact, we, we've talked to, their, to, the, to his family actually, his parents and his uh, siblings. Sino? Uh, yung parents niya sa Ganasi, ni Abu Zakaria. Okay. Uh, we, we were able to talk to them. Uh, and what we did asked, you tell them? We asked them to help us uh, convince his son that the government is willing to talk to him, that the government is willing to you know, help him uh, and his group. Uh, and uh, the parents are very uh, positive uh, of uh, that uh, engagement that we have with, uh, with the family. Why do we talk to terrorists? We don't talk to terrorists, we talk to the family of the terrorists. And 
do we negotiate with them? We ask them for, uh, for their support to be able to contact these people and uh, somehow be able to um, uh, convince them. Will they be qualified with the programs of the government for those who want to surrender? Yes. Even if so, they've killed in the criminal activities? So long as they, they, follow, the, and, uh, they follow the procedures. Meron naman tayong, in fact, itong 213, 14 uh, mga former members ng Dallas Mayor are, are, are uh, already uh, enjoying the benefits of uh, the surrender. Okay. You are from Lanao, sir, you know? Uh, and these uh, rebels are also from Lanao. Why, do, why don't we recruit more uh, soldiers from Lanao? In fact, uh, sa mga recruitment uh, uh, process namin, Isa yan sa palagi naming hinihingi sa mga local governments to help us uh, to be able to recruit uh, locals to join the armed forces of the Philippines. Army in particular. Despite what you've said, sir, I, I want to ask you this question. If you have this decision, what would you want? Zakaria to be dead or captured alive? If I were to choose, I would like I would like him to be alive and give him a second chance. He's probably lost. He's just one lost soul who's probably in need of direction. And people will see that uh, we have given a second chance to a person like him. Siguro ang mga tao would be uh, convinced to tell the relatives also to come down. Kita nyo naman yung nangyari sa ano nyo, sa binigyan ng second chance. Wala nang, ano, hindi kayo papatayin. Kasi yan ang palagi nila sinasabi. Pag kayo, pumunta sa sundalo, masasakitan kayo, papatayin kayo. But it's not true. General, ano kaya ang magiging rason na magkaroon ulit ng Marawi Sins? When the community does not, uh, does not give a damn about security, about, uh, about the criminality, does not give a damn about the community and, uh, and their uh, peripheries. Mangyayari ulit yan. Message to Zakaria and to all those who are uh, in... The mountains? Oh. May mensahe kayo, sir, sa lahat ng mga tumatakbo kayo. Sa ngayon. mga pag-arigo tano na mga nasa bundok pa, uh, ako'y nananawagan uh, sa inyo. Anda ang inyong kasundaluhan upang uh, matulungan kayo uh, upang makita ninyo ang tunay na Islam at uh, tunay na kapayapaan. Uh, ugup tano, mga pagari tano, uh, ito ay para sa kalilintad natin. Uh, hindi ito para sa kung isang tao lamang o para sa isang uh, komunidad lamang. Ito ay para sa atin lahat. Kaya mga pagari tano, pag-ugup-ugup tayo. Sir, bakit hindi na lang natin ilagay yung mga mukha nila sa mga checkpoints para ma makilala ng mga sibilyan? Yeah, meron, meron. Mayroon ka mensahe sa mga sibilyan, sir? Sa ating mga kapatid na mga Maranao din dito sa Lanao region, uh, kilala nyo naman ang mga nasa puntok pa rin at uh, karamihan nito ay uh, mga either relatives or kakilala ninyo. Ang, ang uh, panawagan ko sana ay makakatulong kayo na kung makausap sila at uh, makumbinsi sila na ang gobyerno natin ay uh, handang-handang tumulong sa kanila upang mabigyan sila ng uh, mas uh, matiwasay na buhay at hindi palaging nagtatago sa bundok at hindi palaging nagtatago sa gobyerno at uh, na nag naghihirap uh, especially yung mga anak nila at mga asawa nila na kasama nila sa bundok hindi na kailangan pang magtago sa bundok napakaraming chances and opportunities dito sa baba upang uh, magkaroon kayo ng mas magandang buhay. You've been in the service for so many years. When will you stop fighting? Probably until uh, my last breath, siguro. Why? Uh, I've been a fighter ever since. No, uh, I grew up from a poor family. Uh, siguro it's in my blood. Uh, and uh, until such time that uh, they take my breath away, then that's the time that I will stop fighting because I love my country. Yeah. Pangunahing tungkuli ng isang sundalo ang protektahan ang siguridad at kaligtasan ng kanyang bayang sinilangan. At higit pa sa galing sa paggamit ng armas o pagtugi sa kalaban, ganap niyang magagampanan ang tungkuling ito kung pananaigin niya sa kanyang puso at diwa ang katapangan, kagitingan at 
pagmamalasakit sa kapwa. Sa kasalukuyang sitwasyon ng bansa, higit na nararamdaman ng taong bayan ang presensya ng sandatahang lakas ng Pilipinas sa ating lipunan. Sa sunod-sunod na trahedya sa pagpasok ng pandemya at ang di pa rin nalulutas na banta ng terorismo at insurreksyon, kinakailangan ngayon ng mga mamamayang Pilipino ang isang pwersang kasundaluhang mapagkakatiwalaan at masasandalan. Sa panig naman ng taong bayan, pangunahing tungkulin bilang mamamayang Pilipino ang pagpapairal ng kooperasyon, disiplina at respeto sa saligang batas ng Pilipinas. Sa pagtugon sa mga problemang kinakaharap ng bansa, naway magkaisa at magtulong-tulong ang bawat Pilipino. Issue one on one.